In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find research topic ideas from ChatGPT and work experiences. I have recently found a research topic that I will focus on for my master's thesis. The research topic I found is the effectiveness of the 4 P's marketing mix in building the competitive advantage of small businesses in Nairobi Central Business District. I wanted to share with you a step-by-step -step process that I took to find this research topic. Make sure you stick till the end of this video because I will also give you an example of how you can leverage artificial intelligence tools such as ChatGPT to find research topic ideas. So the first method or the first approach you can use to find research topic ideas is to count on your previous work experience. As a graduate student, you might have had the opportunity to serve in different work settings. Now, what you should do is get a notebook and sit down and brainstorm some of the most common problems in your workplace. Let me give you an example with myself. I have a degree in mass communication with an advertising major. My previous work experiences have involved working with small and medium enterprises to develop and implement marketing strategies. One of the challenges I've noticed working with small and medium enterprises is the complete lack of promotion strategies for their product and services. This is one of the problems I could investigate in my master's thesis or dissertation. To find a research topic related to your work experience, I would encourage you to sit down with a notebook and try to recall all the problems you've experienced in your current work or school setting. Brainstorm as many problems as possible. After writing down as many problems as you can, narrow down the problems to the one that appears the most significant. For example, in my case, some of the problems that small businesses in my local area, which is Nairobi in Kenya, experience might include lack of knowledge to run marketing campaigns, not having a budget for marketing campaigns, not understanding digital marketing strategies, a lack of flow of leads, and a general view that marketing is expensive. Small businesses also do not understand the importance of marketing in business. After identifying some of the major problems in the area I want to study, I would then prioritize the problems that are of interest to me. Considering the problems I just listed, the ones that are of significant interest to me are not understanding the importance of marketing and the general view that marketing is expensive. My interest in this problem relates to one of the major concepts of marketing called the four P's, that is price, product, promotion, and place. The four P's is an important and well understood concept in marketing. This means that I can use this as the foundational theoretical framework for my research. Considering the four P's concept and the problems of interest in my regular work setting, my research topic can therefore be evaluating the effectiveness of the four P's marketing mix in building the competitive advantage of small businesses in Nairobi Central Business District. Narrowing down the context of my research would make it easy for me to access research participants and make the general scope of the research manageable. You should also narrow down on your research topic depending on the interest you have towards researching such a topic. It's important for researchers to find topics they are interested in. This is because the research process takes a long time. So conducting research on a topic of interest will help you to always have energy to continue with your project. Remember that your research project is going to take quite some time depending on your schedule. There is a new way to find research topics quickly. That is using artificial intelligence. When you talk about AI, it's hard not to talk about the chat GPT app. This language model is worth most of the hype around it. As a language model, ChatGPT was trained on trillions of pages of information around the internet. So as a researcher, you should not underestimate the ability that ChatGPT has, especially when it comes to finding an appropriate research topic that you can focus on. Let me show you how you can use ChatGPT to find interesting research topics. So, last year, there was a friend I was coaching through their master's research project. This friend worked as a communication director in an elementary school. My friend is pursuing a master's in development communication at one of the most renowned local universities. So, considering the work environment of this friend of mine and the current master's program that he is enrolled in, we can type some commands in ChatGPT to try and brainstorm some of the research topics he could explore in his current work environment. So let's head to ChatGPT and type the topic 50 research topic ideas for a master's research project in the development communication discipline for a person who works in an elementary school. You can see that ChatGPT gives us at least 
30 research topic ideas. If we go through them, as you can see, the AI provides topics that fall within the discipline of development communication. The AI also considers the context of an elementary school. So if you ask ChatGPT the right questions, you will get brilliant ideas. When trying to find a research topic for your master's thesis or dissertation, provide specifications to chat GPT such as a specific context or a workplace and your specific discipline. Providing chat GPT with a context and a discipline of study will make it easier for the AI to give you more specific ideas to work on. Remember that chat GPT is just an AI that does not have an understanding of context. The main function of the tool is to give you ideas that you can start with. You will see that that most of the ideas that the AI suggests are quite broad. You can narrow them down and have an interesting research topic that lies within your scope. Having a research topic that is narrow will make it easy for you to access the target research participants and collect data. A narrow research topic that targets your specific workplace or a specific industry will also be interesting for you. This is because you'll be solving problems that you normally encounter in the workplace or issues that interest you. So let's try to refine some of the topics that ChatGPT gave us. If you look at the first research topic, you can see that the AI gives us quite a broad area in social media platforms. The topic is investigating the impact of using social media platforms in promoting parental involvement in elementary school education. We can narrow down the topic of social media platforms to a specific social media platform such as Facebook. So our research question can be investigating the impact of using Facebook in promoting parental involvement in elementary school education. A case study of Bernard group of schools. I just used my name because I want to show you the importance of narrowing down to a specific area of study or a specific local context. Narrowing down on the research topic can also involve focusing on specific local area or local institution. Remember, focusing on a given local region will make your research topic feasible. We also have another topic that ChatGPT suggested to us which is more specific. The topic is analyzing the effectiveness of school newsletters in facilitating communication between teachers and parents in elementary schools. Now, after you get ideas on a research topic, it will be important to read widely on a specific topic. Reading widely will help you to understand whether your research topic is important. Reading widely will also help you to find suggested research gaps in previous scholarly studies. You can then work on filling these research gaps as you work on your research project. So to read widely on your topic, you will first identify scholarly databases in your discipline. Let's bring up my research topic, which is the effectiveness of the 4Ps marketing mix in building the competitive advantage of small businesses in Nairobi Central Business District. My research topic falls in the marketing discipline. To find scholarly topics in the marketing discipline, I will head to Google and type scholarly databases marketing. We can see that this website called libguides.com gives us some of the most useful scholarly databases in the marketing discipline, including Emerald, ProQuest, Scopus, and Web of Science. Let's use the databases to retrieve scholarly articles. The scholarly articles we retrieve are going to give us a deeper understanding of our draft research topic and ways we can improve the research topic. So for my research topic, the main keywords are effectiveness, 4Ps, competitive advantage, and small businesses. After we find the keywords related to our preliminary research topic, we are going to use Boolean operators including AND, NOT, or to combine our keywords so as to find the most relevant scholarly articles. So let's combine the Boolean operators with our keywords and try to retrieve some scholarly articles we can use to refine our preliminary research topic. Here we just retrieve at least five scholarly articles that we can evaluate and conduct a literature review to identify whether our research topic is viable. Conducting a literature review on our topic will also help us to determine whether our research topic fills a specific research gap. Remember, it's also important to get approval from your supervisor on your specific research topic. After your supervisor approves your topic, you can then proceed with your study. This is how you can get research topic ideas, one, from your work experience as a graduate student, and two, from artificial intelligence tools such as 
ChatGPT. After you successfully find a feasible research topic, you will need to read widely on the topic and conduct a literature review. Make sure you watch the video that I will link here on how to use Zotero to retrieve, annotate, and cite scholarly articles. Thank you.